What's up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today we're going to be doing part two of the uh, AAA waveframe build. So uh, first things first, we're going to be shutting down the rig and trying this, uh, this four-way splitter. So first thing we're going to do, like I said, is power it down, put this in, make sure the rig works properly with all six GPUs, but with the splitter installed, right? And the next step after that, we'll be seeing if we can get to seven, eight, or even nine GPUs using the splitter, right? So uh, yeah, that's gonna be our first step. Then we're gonna be transplanting all this stuff into this mining frame to be able to, like I said, expand past the six GPU limit of these VETA frames. And uh, yeah, we'll see how far we can push it with these splitters. So without any further delays, let's get, uh, let's get this rig shut off. For anybody wondering, this is a Z. 390A Pro motherboard, all right? See, it's Pro Series MSI Z390A Pro. There you can see it. And here we are. I, uh, I put the splitter in. Obviously, I used a uh, X16 slot. I'm pretty sure that's how this is supposed to work, all right? So I have two X16 slots on this motherboard. I put it in the second one uh, just because I'm displaying out of the one of uh, the card that's plugged into the first one, and I didn't really want to mess with that. When I first powered on the computer, um, not all the six cards were detected. I could only see five in the device manager here under display adapters. However, after about, you know, 30 seconds, maybe even less, the screen flickered once or twice and all six of my cards were back in display adapters. I also ran the miner just to test it, uh, make sure it was stable and I got the same amount of mega hash and both those things check out. So I'm around the 190 mark, which was the case before and it's been running for about 25 minutes with no issues. So next step is gonna be getting a seventh GPU on here. And I think the first to go is gonna be one of the two 1660 Supers in here. So let's get to it, guys. So this is the uh, contraption I have going for the time being. Uh, ignore this card for now, pretend it's not here. So I plugged in the Aces Dual. I have it running off the server power supply and the riser goes oop, to the splitter card. You can see two of them are plugged in and completely flawlessly, it just worked. All the cards were detected. I modified the batch file to, uh, to import basically the, the overclock settings that I knew worked for this card that I had running on my other computer. And here we go, we're up to 221 mega hash or 222 pretty much. You can see again, it's been 20 minutes. It's been running stable and uh, yeah, no, no issues. And on this card, I'm actually getting a higher mega hash than I was getting on my computer by about half a mega hash. So that's really not bad. Uh, like I said, that, uh, that card is only at half capacity for now. Again, I'll give you guys the better view over here. So we only have two plugged in out of the four. And now we get to this other card. So this was uh, the second 1660 Super that was in my PC. And I just have it ready with the riser here. I have another server power supply cable ready to go. And uh, we're going we're gonna to try it with eight cards before, uh, before building everything into this rig. I'm just curious at this point. So let's see if we can get it running with eight. And I know people will ask, so I might as well cover it. How did I figure out, once I plugged all these things in, which device was which, right? So look, I already had the baseline of the batch file with six cards. Then what I did is I downloaded Tech Power Up GPU Z. For some reason, I didn't have it on this rig, so shame on me, I should. And I'll show you guys here. What I did is I just looked at the, at the device ID. So you can find this online for your specific card. I looked at the Aces Dual version and it was this specific device ID. So I just went through here the list of all the 1660 supers, and uh, when I found this one, it was the fourth in the list, and I knew it was gonna be device three in T-Rex Miner because they start at zero, right? And yeah, that's how I found out. And now with three total cards plugged in uh, the PCIe splitter, it's still working flawlessly. Again, no complaints. We have it mining. This time it's been going for 45 minutes, and yeah, super stable, good hash rate. We're up to 253 mega hash with uh, these eight cards going. Honestly, I have nothing to complain about. Uh, I think we're pretty much at the point where I'm gonna shut this down, start unplugging it, and transplant, first of all, the motherboard over on this, uh, then the server power supply and all the GPUs. I, I put in the standoffs while I was waiting for my stability test to finish, but I think it's build time, guys. And look at this thing, I'm so happy. I was up way too late building this yesterday, but honestly it was, it was well worth it. Um, what, how I left it yesterday was without this card. So the eight cards I tested yesterday, I left it overnight, it ran again perfectly. 
And this morning when I woke up, I put in this card, uh, which is the Red Fox 1070. Uh, I'll link to that video. It does about the same hash rate as a 1660 Super, but just takes a bit more wattage. So I decided to put that in there as the ninth card, and it's been running flawlessly since before. So look at that. We're up to 284.9 mega hash. So that's that's crazy. You can see our uptime is just over eight hours. Again, no crashes, no nothing. It's been super stable so far. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really, really happy with this. So let's talk a bit about this, this 12 GPU frame that AAA Wave was kind enough to send, uh, send to me. Thanks again. Uh, I have a coupon code, by the way, in the description. It's AAAMO20. So AAAMO, like mining office, 20, and you get $20 off this mining frame. So uh, yeah, let's, let's dig into my thoughts on this. First thing is the capacity. What is there not to like? You can fit in 12 GPUs. So I don't really think I need to say much more. Um, double the capacity of a VETA frame. So clear winner is the AAA wave frame. Um, another aspect of this is the spacing. So clearly uh, the spacing between the cards is gonna be a bit tighter uh, than on a VETA frame. So uh, for me, this isn't a problem. These cards run super cool, uh, even with no fans on here, and we'll get to the fans. Uh, these cards run nice and cool. So I have no problem with that. Maybe if you're running a bunch of 30 series cards on Raven, that might be more problematic. But for my application, it's really not a factor at all. So just, yeah, take into consideration they are closer together. But personally, uh, I like it like this because it just takes up less space. I'm in my office. I don't have infinite amount of room. So uh, I appreciate this. Uh, yeah. Um, Except for that, uh, I think I already mentioned last video, but the feet really do their job. This thing is going absolutely nowhere if I shake it. Uh, so yeah, that's a good plus. And I was even able to find room on here for the server power supply. So I had seen some other YouTubers uh, saying they couldn't really fit it in. And I think they were trying to fit it more on the sides here. But if you put it at the back side with the breakout board in the middle, I find it works well. I can fit my cables to all my cards. And if you see here, I can plug in the cable on the side and the, the fan is exhausting here uh, out the side of the rig. So uh, this setup for me works pretty dang well. There's one more critical thing I have to cover and it's hidden all the way at the back, but it's this, this splitter. Um, this thing allowed me to bring up the amount of GPUs on my motherboard from six to nine. So just this piece of hardware alone is, is absolutely priceless in my opinion. Um, I'm so happy AAA Wave sent me one of these. Uh, next video, or maybe in a future video, I'll try running two of these in a single rig. I've done some research online and I can't find any other videos or clear information on if two should work. From what I know, it should work in theory, uh, depending on your CPU uh, PCIe lanes, but uh, I'm not really sure on how that'll turn out practically. So hopefully I'll be able to test that. We'll see if we can push it to 10, 11, 12 GPUs next time. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this overall. I was so excited yesterday when it was like past midnight and I put this thing together. It's really compact. Uh, it works super well. I love the adjustability of all the members as well, right? So I can slide this back and forward depending on the length of the cards you're putting in here. And I just wanna show this off too quickly, but you also have ATX PSU mounts. You see there's one here and there's also one on the other side in case you wanna use dual ATX PSUs or I don't know, just one and a server PSU. So I didn't obviously try that out. I'm running everything off this one ZSX breakout board and HP server power supply. But that's also a nice point. You flip it on your side and you have it mounted here and then your cables should be all accessible. Uh, I'm gonna do one test that was requested to me by a, by a viewer actually. They wanted to see if I put an ATX power supply in here, uh, if the PCIe cables will reach the top. So obviously I'm not gonna put it in there, but I'll put it in an equivalent position and I'll just see if the PCIe cables reach. And here's the test for the ATX PSU. So normally, it would be in here, right? So this cable is starting already further than where it should be. It should be closer in there, right? And this thing would be, let me see, uh, on its side like this, I believe, right? So look at this. I'm gonna take the cable and I can easily reach from here, uh, this or even the next card over, right? Now, if this would be in here, it would probably be tight, but I don't have a doubt that you could reach all three cards uh, that are here, right? So 
Uh, your right ATX could definitely reach these right cards and your left ATX can uh, reach the left three cards. Again, look at this. I'll try and give you a further out view, but I mean, that's that's not bad. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not even in there. Add maybe a couple inches. So yeah, you make, uh, make of it what you want. There you go. You also have the option to put in eight times 120 millimeter fans, four per row here. Uh, I'm just holding this one in, as you can see. I might screw in this one and the, uh, the other one I have on uh, maybe the top or bottom row, I'll see, but I don't want it to interfere with this cable mess. I mean, I did a bit of cable management, but with the risers, it's a little bit hectic here. I, I could have done better, but like I said, it was, it, was, it was late yesterday. Depending on where it is, it's, you know, the cable management is debatable here. Don't, don't grill me too bad. Last thing we're gonna be doing is shutting this rig down and seeing how much we're pulling for this entire rig. Since I'm just powering it from the one server power supply, this is gonna be real easy. Uh, we're just gonna see uh, when we're mining how much we're pulling. Again, I'm running everything here off two 15 amp circuits. So I wanna see how many more cards I can get and how much more I can expand without tripping my breaker. So this is probably the best 25 bucks uh, I've spent. And we are at more or less 800 watts, guys. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I'm being honest, that's about what I thought it was gonna be. Last time when we tested this, we had only six of the 1660 supers in there and we were at 500 watts. So now we added two more 1660 supers. That's about 75 watts each, so 150. And the 1070 Ti is about 110 watts. So, you know, then you add the power supply efficiency on there that gives you your more or less 300 watts added. The ZSX breakout board here with the, the server power supply absolutely kills it. I'm able to power everything off this single power supply here. In conclusion, guys, honestly, this is my favorite mining frame I've tried so far. Disclaimer, I've only tried two, right? The, the six GPU VETA frame and this 12 GPU frame, but I think this annihilates the VETA frame in almost every aspect. Um, just being able to fit so many cards in this uh, blows me away and it, it's really well built. I like the finish. Uh, you can tell the qualities there because of small touches like the foam they put on here and uh, making it easy to assemble. Yeah, I would, I would be really happy to do another build in one of these anytime. I completely understand why Red Panda wants to move all his, his rigs to this type of frame. It's really amazing. I, I, I was blown away by this. So before sounding off, I just want to thank everybody at AAA Wave again. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. I recently hit 2,000 subscribers. I want to thank all of you guys for that. And I'm going to try and bring you more and more super cool content. Um, and next time, hopefully, we'll have a new GPU and we'll try a second splitter. So stay tuned for that. I'm really curious to find out if that'll work.